Okay, here what I have done is I have taken a uh, battery um, terminal cleaner, uh, the cover for it, um, and it basically looks like this. Uh, there's some marks over here, scratches on it because I was holding it with this channel lock. But what I've done is I've uh, drilled a hole. I used a. Oh, let's. I have to take a look. Give me a second here. Uh, Fifteen thirty seconds drill bit. And I drilled a hole. There was already a little hole in there for some reason. Uh, maybe to dry everything out inside. I don't know. But anyhow, I drilled a uh, hole with that size drill bit I mentioned. And uh, I put a, I think this is a, called a Schrader valve. I put a tire valve into it. Uh, after I drilled the hole with the drill bit, it was just a little too small, and I had this on top, this valve stem uh, puller, and uh, I tried to pull it, and it was just a little bit too tight. So what I did is I took a step-type drill bit and just drilled it a, just a wee bit more, and then I was able to pull this through. Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put some electrical tape on this area. It does slip in the top of the radiator where the cap is, but it's a, just a little loose, so you know the air is going to leak out of it. So I'm going to put some electrical tape around here and uh, see if I can pressurize my coolant system with this um, to check for leaks in the coolant. Uh, so, the car's cold. I topped it off with coolant so there's less air in there. And uh, what I've done is I've set my air compressor to about 15 pounds PSI. Um, I set the regulator down. I turned it way down because obviously you don't want to do this with a lot of air pressure. I don't know why. I'm not mechanic so to speak but it may be a blow seal somewhere or something something could go wrong so what I've done is I've turned the air compressor way down and uh, to 15 psi I'm going to check for leaks so I'll continue this video here after I get it set up Okay, now uh, this is a 2010 Nissan Rogue. Um, I've put that doohickey thing I made in the radiator thing. Uh, on this side, where the overflow hose is, I've taken a piece of hose. I don't know what size it is, but it's uh, similar to the overflow hose. And then I've put this pen and shoved it way in there, or marker, and put it way in there so the air won't escape. I don't think I need this now that I was, you know, experimenting putting this thing on. But you, you actually, it doesn't matter because this thing is sealing over this overflow. So, uh that's what you want. I mean, if you tried to test everything from this end, this hose, it isn't going to work. I mean, say you had the radiator cap on, it's not going to work because the cap seals below this overflow. So, uh, this is probably going to work, I think. Um, I don't know if I'm going to find the leak for you, but I think what I've got, I've got a nice... Uh, tight seal around this Schrader valve um, or tire valve and uh, in order to pull it on I showed you I used the um, valve stem tool I put a little oil there and that might help to bloat the rubber there a little bit plus it's got a pretty good seal here too when I go to try some air if I see it leaking 
in this area, which is very possible, then I'll maybe I'll hold it down because the electrical tape that I put around this uh, battery cleaner cover um, is going down below the end of the of, end of the metal on this thing here, so it's sort of making a seal down there with the electrical tape. So I'm going to try uh, hooking up uh, to my, um, right now i got a blowgun in this, and I'm going to put a tire pressure gauge with a, uh, or a tire fill gauge with, a, with the gate, tire um, inflator with a gauge, okay? So that way I know I, I'm not making sure I'm not going too high of a PSI. So that'll be the next step. Okay, I ran into a little problem here. Since this is not exactly round, it has these uh, dimples in there to lock the cover on the tool. Um, I'm going to try to straighten them out and see if that helps. Okay, uh, it was basically a success and it wasn't a success, so I'll explain. Um, what I ended up using instead of electrical tape is this tape that you seal a leak on a water pipe. It's got some give to it and can make a better seal. When I got that on, the, on here, I'm starting to take it off now, but when I had it on, I pushed it down as hard as I could, connected the inflator, to the uh, Schrader valve here and uh, I was able to put air in the car. Um, I put about 18 pounds in there according to the tire inflator gauge. Uh, and of course I had the regulator turned way down on the uh, air compressor. And then the gauge held. It held at 18 pounds and I held it there I had to keep pushing this down in order to prevent air from escaping. But it was successful. Uh, the only thing is, I was in a quiet garage in the middle of the night, and I didn't hear any leaks coming out. So, uh, hopefully, um, it isn't you know the head gasket problem but uh this did work um i mean sorry that you'd have to go searching for all these materials uh and these battery um cleaner uh things right here you know they might come in different sizes and then also your hole for your uh, radiator cap is not going to uh, going to fit this. They're probably all different sizes. So um, I suggest possibly making something like this. Uh, if you if you did have one of these battery cleaners, you could you could do what I did, put the tire valve on it, and then you could possibly get a rubber stop or cork and work this down into it and try it that way and as long as your air is not escaping you would you'd be fine um, I had to hold the uh, inflator gauge you know how it can go lopsided and air could come out but I was able to hold it I was able to have about 18 pounds in there of pressure and I held it for like two minutes I didn't hear or see any leaks. Uh, I'm going to check on the floor just to make sure and see if there's any coolant that has dripped down. So thanks for watching and uh, sorry I couldn't find a leak for you. <laughs>